The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, Camtel, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this uh, new session of distance learning. Welcome to all the candidates of the Advanced Technical Education Education Entrepreneurship. I'm King Efa Kerwini, Entrepreneurship Teacher. For the class of opposites, as we earlier said in the introductory lesson, entrepreneurship is a common cause for all candidates going in for advanced technical and vocational education in Cameroon. Before we to enter, before entering into our new lesson, we previously went home with a consolidation exercise, which was to make several observations of the creation of a new business venture in your environment and to collect data relative to the following question. We were asked fellow candidates to develop a business plan. As a solution for you to develop a business plan, let's use a hypothetical case, a business plan for a snack bar restaurant. In to, to develop a business plan, we have three main segments. The first segment is what we call the preliminary pages. And on the preliminary pages, we have the cover page, we have the title page, and we have the table of contents. In the second part, we have the body of the business plan, and the text segment of a business of developing a business plan is the concluding pages. So if we take our case, the case of developing a business plan for a snack bar restaurant, for example, that is a sample of a cover page as you watch the board. We have Heritage Snack Bar Restaurant LTD, for Private Limited. It is situated at Avenue Kennedy Yaoundé. The contact or the email address is heritagesbr.com. We have a telephone number. We have the proprietors or those who are behind main shareholders, which is Mr. Anang Joel and Anang Sinti. And it was drafted on the 30th of November, 2021. Let's now go to the title page. Under the title page, we have the terms of reference. The terms of reference tell us how, what is the main aim, what is the reason that of writing the business plan. The purpose of creating this business plan for the snack bar restaurant is to raise 10 million francs for the development of a snack bar restaurant that will serve things like sticks, seafood, beverages, wines, African and European based cuisines and other related dishes. Then we come now to the table of contents, which is the, the other segment concerning the, the cover page. Under the table of content, we have the executive summary, we have the business description, description of products and services, market analysis, marketing and sales strategies. We also have competitive analysis, manufacturing plan, management and ownership, financial and projections, that is what the income statements, cash flow, profit and loss accounts. We also have sales focus. We also talk about financial ratios or projections. And lastly, we have appendices. So fellow candidates, in order to do a good business plan, those are the various components. But it is worth nothing to tell you that there is no standard format to develop a business plan. First, it depends on the nature and type of organization. So these are just the basic components which each, you know, if you want to open a business, be it a, a small business, a medium scale or a large scale business, those are the various segments or sectors. So for our restaurant, we are going to talk about the executive plan, as we earlier said, executive summary. In the executive summary, you give the details of all what the business is all about, the reasons, what are the main products, who are the promoters. And it is worth nothing to write the executive summary the last because it is a summary and overview of all the other main components of a business plan. Then next, we have the business description of 
of your of your snack bar restaurant where is it located who are what are the main products what are the main dishes how will it be what uh, what do you need to order to run that particular business the documents that will require article and so on you describe globally then we have the description of the products or services as you earlier said heritage snack bar restaurant is going to be specialist in african cuisines and european dishes seafoods sticks beverages so you have to describe all those products and also services coming now to the market analysis as we earlier know in our marketing previous knowledge marketing is an aspect of anticipating identifying and satisfying consumers needs and wants profitably so you have to make a thorough market analysis who is your target audience in this snack bar restaurant remember it is at avenue kennedy which is a central business district in the yaoundé city so the targets why do you situate it there because beside there is a big market known as machi central and there are other activities going on there so you are targeting those commercial business people around so you have to analyze and know why you are positioning your business at that particular uh, at that particular place then we we'll now have the marketing and sales strategy how will you get this food these beverages in front of the, the consumer what sales strategy will you do will you enter the market with a low price low quality high quality and so on then we'll also talk about the competitor analysis around avenue kennedy we have other snack bars restaurant like challenge and the other ones but what makes it different what can you do which is different from those other people existing in the marketplace so you have to go around and try to see what we call competitive advantage what can you do better than those who are already in that particular market then we have the manufacturing plan how do you, will you produce your beverages your african dishes then we have the management and ownership as we earlier said in the cover page Anand Sinzi and Anand Joel are the owners, the main owners, the main shareholders. We also have a description of the authority and responsibility. Then the most important aspect will be the financial projections. It is worth nothing. We need a finance of 10 million. So it's good to do a projection of maybe five years that can really you bring out the three main financial statement, which is income statement, cash flow statement, also balance sheet then we have then we'll conclude we'll conclude with what we call the appendixes means we'll have a list of customers we have we also have the the, the, the dishes the quality of, uh, of 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 infrastructure what we are going to use to manufacture those those particular goods or services so globally fellow students that is what uh, that is an example which can guide you to do a, develop a better plan for next for, for, for previous for previous lessons now we are going to come to our module the module of this uh, session is starting of business operations this module was previously presented in three subtopics the first was based financing a business which we did previous in the previous class we also talk about mobilization of our resources then lastly we have production our lesson of today, fellow candidate, is financing a business. The outline or the plan of our lesson of today, we are going to begin with the objective of the lesson, go to previous knowledge. Thirdly, we are going to see what is a real life situation. Then learners' activities, we'll do a summary of our lesson, we'll go to ap application exercises. Then we are going to conclude our lesson with what we call homework. The objective of this lesson, fellow candidate, is to define what is financing. We are also going to explain the need and importance of business finance. We are going to determine the financial needs of the enterprise. We are also going to describe how finances, the classification of financial sources, where do we actually get finances for our business. Then we are going to discuss the various factors that influence the choice of a financial, financial source. Before entering into our lesson, it is worth knowing we also know the basic concepts of entrepreneurship. We also have to master the knowledge on how to generate a business idea and also to conduct a feasibility study, likewise developing a business plan. A business idea, as we earlier said, is anything that can be used for a business purpose, that can, anything that you can use that can be commercially and profitable, uh, commercially and financially viable for you. The aim of every business is to maximize profit. So how can you generate something that can, you can use it? in order for you to maximize profit that is commercially viable and before having that business idea you also have to conduct what we call a feasibility study 
We earlier talked about feasibility study, which is a preliminary assessment or evaluation of a business idea. How do you know whether that business we are going to enter into, is it viable or not? Can you make profit or not? It, it will it be cost effective? Will, they, will, will, will the revenue that you have there more than the cost of under, under, undertaking that particular activity? So feasibility study is a prerequisite for developing not only a business plan, but also to, to reinforce what we call a business idea. Then we earlier talk about the business plan as in the, the homework, which have three components, which the first component, which is that of the preliminary pages, the second component is that of the body, and the last, which is that of concluding pages, which we earlier saw in our consolidation exercise and entering of this lesson. For us to better have an apprehension and mastery of our lesson of today, how to finance a business, let's look at this case. Mr. Khan is a potential entrepreneur in is um, is a potential entrepreneur that intends to run a snack bar restaurant that will serve African-based cuisines and related dishes in Yaoundé. However, his venture capital is not sufficient to meet the startup and potential expansion requirement for his business. It means the capital that he has to start is not really enough for him to embark in this snack bar restaurant venture. So he is very worried, impatient, and confused, as he has no idea as to how and from where he should obtain additional funds. So he, the money he has at the beginning is not enough to open up this particular business venture. So the question is, how and from where can he obtain additional funds in order to realize this is dream, this is business idea, in order to run a snack bar restaurant? So that is our case study, and we are going to see if the, 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 in the course of the lesson, he will have an answer for this particular question. Our learners integrated activity at the end of this lesson, students should be able to define what business finance is, identify the needs and importance of business finance, likewise determine the financial needs of business, classify business sources, and choose, know how to choose a source of finance. That is, those are the main activities which we are going to undertake and also to do in this particular session. My follow up, what is finances? Finances is the acquiring, the procurement or the utilization of funds so that enterprise will be able to carry out the operation efficiently and or effectively. How can you get and obtain funds? If you obtain the funds, how will you use it? So finance is all about how to get obtain funds and how to use funds in order to finance a business operation efficiently and or effectively. We all know that efficiency is performing a job due to your task while using minimum effort, cost, time, and without all wastage. So how can we obtain funds and how can we use these funds? So finances involve those two main operations. How can you get funds and how can you use the funds? Why is it important for us to have to obtain funds and also to use funds when we want to create a new business venture or an existing business venture? The first aspect is it helps us to buy fixed assets. Fixed assets like land, equipment, building, cars. It also helps us to have what we call working capital. Working capital are funds that are used for the day-to-day -day running of the business. It also helps us, those funds also help us to, for the business growth because we have to be visionary. What is the future direction and outlook of the organization? Finances also help us to bridge the gap, the time gap between production and what? Sales. How can we produce and how do we sell? Because we need to sell in order to finance, in order to, to acquire uh, raw materials and other aspects. So in financing, it helps us to have an overview of that. Finances also help us for unforeseen or unforeseen circumstances to cater for unforeseen circumstances. Fire we can have an accident or can have a burglary or fire can consume the whole system. So finances also is a security. That's a fund that can be used for unforeseen circumstances that were not uh, previously known, which we call force majeure. Financing also help us to have to exploit business opportunities that is to determine a new business venture and also to invest on it because if you have the idea you have everything and you don't implement it then that business that idea is not viable so you should be able to have a business and also to implement it and what can enable us to implement a business or exploit a business opportunity is the funds 
that you have. How, let's now see, fellow candidate, how to determine financial needs of a business. How can we determine why do we even need funds to start a business? The first aspect is startup cost. Everything, every new business that you engage in, you must need what we call a startup or cost, which are the charges. Which are the charges? You need land, you need buildings, you need equipment. If you don't have in, uh, land, you have to rent one. So financing is important because we need it to, as what we call a startup or cost. The second aspect is that of personal equity capital. In order to start a business venture, it is worth nothing. When you write a business plan, maybe to, to, to obtain funds in a financial institution, it's also important to have your own personal funds because a bank will not give grant you money if you don't have you are saying you are not on a particular world effort. So personal equity capital is your own funds, which with the called venture capital, which you can have in order to start a particular world business. So to, for you to start a business, you need your own personal funds or savings that you have been doing. Another aspect is to estimate your monthly revenue. You know that in the management and ownership, you need you have workers which are. We have what we call explicit costs, costs that doesn't come from the particular activity and also have implicit costs like salaries, bills, and so on. So you have to anticipate and focus on your monthly revenue. What can you, what do you have as revenue and how can you manage those particular aspects? Before financing a business, we have to access the business profitability. Profitability for it to have profit, total revenue should be greater than total cost. That's what we say the business should be cost effective. The revenue that you have from the business, from the, from the activity, should be greater than the cost. So you have to assess the business profitability for you to have the adequate finances, funds to finance this particular activity. Let's now come to the classification of sources of what finance. We are going to see how finances are classified. The first classification is based on time and period. The next classification is based on ownership and control. And the third type of classification is based on the sources of generation. Let's now see how, class, how, how, how we can classify funds and how we can have finances in terms of time periods. Generally, we have the short-term sources, which is generally less than one year. We have medium-term sources, which is in between one to five years. And we have long-term sources, which is above five years. Let's now come to the short-term finances. Short-term finances enables us to, 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 to cater for the day-to-day -day trading of the business, the buying and selling activities in the business, which we also call the working capital. And the various sources, we have trade credit. Trade credit is a very important source, short-term source, which we use where you go and see a businessman and he grants you a particular credit. It can be, we see it in small businesses, like call boxes, those traders in the market and so on, they give, they, they function through what called trade world credit. Where you see the owner of a business in order to give you a small loan or you to run a business. We call that trade credit. Bank overdraft also is another aspect, especially for those business people that have what called current accounts. They can overdraw more than the amount in their current account in order to finance their particular business. This is also a short-term source of finance. Debt factoring is another one where a third party can buy, we should call a factor firm, can buy the debt of a company in order to, which is a form of financing. We also use what we call credit cards. E-commerce and online business mostly used by what we call credit card because you don't need to work with money. So they can finance, they can fill your account wherever you are using what we call the credit cards which you can use in ATM machines and withdraw funds and you do your transaction. This is mostly done at electronic with electronic means. Let's now go to medium term medium term financing. We have this time financing that finance major projects with a long life, which is generally between one to, to five years. Among these sources, we have bank loans, where you can go to a bank and you request for a particular loan. We have higher purchase. Higher purchase is when you meet a businessman to or, I mean, or, or, or a firm to give you a particular sum of money and you pay back that particular money install mentally. That's what we mean by higher purchase. You pay bit by bit, small, small. 
Then we have lease financing. Lease is just like a rent that's giving you, that's permitting you to use my image or my name in order for you to do your own particular business. Another medium source of finance is what we call government grants or government support or ads, which the government gives to, to, to business people or to entrepreneurs that undertake uh, a particular business, especially induced entrepreneurs. The like induced entrepreneurs are those who have been financed by the government to undertake a particular activities. We saw that in what we call models of entrepreneurship at the creation in the 1960s, we have very big business magnets in Cameroon that were supported by the state in order to start a particular activities. Those type of entrepreneurs are called induced entrepreneurs, those who are helped or supported by the government. Then we have long-term finances, which are businesses that are for more than five years. And among those sources, we have loans and debt capital. We have mortgages. We have venture capital, which is accumulation of savings for the past. We have share capital where people come, other third parties come and inject money in a particular business. A share is a document that it tells you that you have a particular amount in a particular world business. So if you have a business, you can call other people through subscription or through offer by tender to bring in more capital. Then we have plowback profits, which we call retain capital, retain earnings. Then we have long-term bank loans, which the, which the financial institutions can or international institutions can grant you a long-term loan for more than five or ten years to undertake a particular business. We also have loans from financial institutions. We also have industrial loan specialists, that is venture specialists or business angels. Those who those people that they have the money, they see somebody that has a good business idea and they jump in to finance that particular business. We call those type of people business or agent angels. Then we have buyouts, we also have our boots world trappings. Now let's see the classification based on ownership. We have owners' funds or equity funds, we have borrowed funds or loans funds. As concerns owners' funds, equity means money that is owned by you. And among those particular sources, as we earlier said, we have equity capital, we have venture investors, we have plowback profit or return earnings, we have personal savings, which we call in the entrepreneurial world bootstrapping. That is the viable words for entrepreneurs that they use. They call it boots world trapping. We have intellectual property contributions. We also have business world agents. All these sources are people that come, that have their own money to finance a particular world business. Then we have borrowed funds or loan funds. We can obtain that from what? From financial institutions, from issue of debenture. A debenture is someone that invests in a particular business and at the end, what is his, in, what is his gain? He is paid interest. We have public deposits. We have lease financing. We also have trade world credits. Classification based on the source of generation. We can generate income or finances either internally or from external sources. Let's now come to the internal sources of finance. As we earlier said, internal source of finance that is within the organization. Among those sources of generation, we have equity share capital. We have return earnings, which we also call plow by our profit. Means we have been doing business and every time we keep a small part of money somewhere. That is what we call return earnings. Then we also have sales of company assets. An asset is something that is owned by the organization. We have fixed assets and we have current world assets. Fixed assets like buildings, machinery, equipment, land. Then current assets like stocks that we have. So if we can sell that, it will also help us to finance our business. External sources of finance. We have financial institutions that can finance us. We have preferences. We have dementias. We have leasing financing, we have trade credit, we have factoring, which are, we earlier discussed or explained some of these uh, aspects or elements. Let's now come to the choice of the source. What, how can you choose a source of what? Finance. The first is the cost of that finance. The cost of procurement of funds and cost of utilization of funds. How, what will you give in return in order to get that particular fund? You will not just get up and go to the bank and any bank just give you money. Sometimes there's what we call collateral or security. In order for you to be financed, you need to give something, maybe a land with a land certificate or other assets. So the cost of finance should be very, very, should be evaluated before you choose a source of what finance, especially for long-term financing. We have the financial stance and stability of what of operations. 
business should be in a sound financial position so in order to have a principal amount and interest on the amount or borrowed. Because you should have a good, you should know that their business that you are doing should be prosperous. It's what financing. Then we have the legal structure of the business. What is the legal structure of business? Is it a sole proprietorship? Is it a partnership? Is it a joint stock company? Is it a multinational company? Is it a municipal enterprise? Is it a cooperative society? So the nature or form of the business will also tell us what choice of finance to choose. The purpose and time at which you want to learn the business also matter. The risk involved, risk management is very important in business because in every activity, risk is, in every activity that you do, there's risk in, involved. Risk simply is what? Exposure to danger. So anything that you do and you're exposed to danger, it is risky. And business venture is a risky business. That is why we say entrepreneur always take calculated risk. It you should really calculate. So when going in for a source of finance, be it internal, external, short or medium or long term, you should do what we call risk evaluation. The control over the business, you have to know how how to control your finances. How will it be cost effective or not? Effects of crazy wordiness. You have to be very, very crazy wordiness before going towards a financial situation for you to have or obtain a fund. Flexibility and ease of obtaining funds because some sources, especially medium and long term, is not very easy. There's a lot of documentation. Then the tax benefits. Also, there are some businesses that require a lot of tax, so you have to really be visually and try to anticipate and try to do a good forecast or and so on. Let's now come now to see if all what we have said can answer our problem, can, 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 can answer the request of Mr. Khan that has a business venture idea to open a snack bar restaurant. He has a venture capital which is not sufficient and he was so worried about how can he do to obtain and use funds. How will he do? Because he has insufficient capital. So what Moisa Khan should do is to choose the classes of the source of finance based on time first, long, medium or long term, ownership and control, and the source of generation. So you should take time and do a thorough study first, the time period. What type of finance does he need? Is it short term, medium term or long term? The ownership and what? Control. Also the source of generation. Is it internal or external? Mr. Khan should also know the choices of sources of our finance. You should know why you are going in for. What is your legal structure? What type of business are you going into? Why are you even doing this particular business? So the choice of source of finance is very, very important. You have to know if you have to go in for an internal source or for an external source. The application exercise, we are going to take, take this application exercise. Explain five reasons for the necessary, necessity of funds in a business venture. And the second exercise is about to discuss the sources of funds required for the day-to-day -day running of the business. As a solution, as Oela said, funds are required to purchase business assets. Funds are also required as working capital to run the day-to-day -day activities. We also need funds in order to meet the in order to meet unforeseen circumstances or contingencies. Funds are also required to take advantage of opportunities by when it's a new business. Financing also helps us for growth, business growth. For the second question, to discuss on the sources of funds required for the day-to-day -day running of our business activities. As so earlier said, we have short-term finances. Examples are trade credits, bank overdrafts, debt factoring, higher purchases. Those are some of the short-term financial sources which it's depending on the nature, the status, or the type of business activities which we can suggest for the day-to-day -day running. Day-to-day -day means short term. If you go and present long, medium, or long term, then you'll be out of place because for the running of the day-to-day, we need better short-term sources of our finances. To summarize our lesson of today, fellow candidate of the Advanced Technical Education Education, we saw that finances involves obtaining and using of funds to finance a particular business operation efficiently and effectively. We also, in this session, explain the needs or importance of business finance. We also determine the financial needs of the enterprise. We also describe the classification of financial sources. We talk about financial sources can be based on time period, ownership and ownership and lastly source of what generation in this session we also discuss on the factors that influence the choice of what finance 
for our next lesson which is probably in the, for our next session take this as consolidation exercise homework that we have to do and we have to correct it before the next class discuss on seven commonly used sources of finance by most entrepreneurs so we are expected fellow candidate for you to discuss on the seven commonly used sources of what finance by most entrepreneurs so next class you have to do that particular aspect so to enrich your knowledge and also to be to have more knowledge more substance in what we have done in financing the business you can go through these various uh, authors and books the first book is that of mr nunvi who was published in 2015 the title of the book is business organization and management an instructional manual for colleges and universities is fifth edition published in boya the second author is mr ban jong ano abia julius who published his book in 2020 the name of the book is an introduction to entrepreneurship advanced level for technical and vocational education in cameroon it's a revised edition graphic printers bamenda our next session shall be on mobilizing of what resources <laughs> Ona tege majang matege ndom mane tambia ninya ne njobya yen ngani bana matege mot ngani la kiri watege ndom esekina bia dinki do mane tambia ninya ne njobya yen tam tama mote tam zabike tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia ninya ne njobya yen